Guess what? We're still talking about 2009 Bordeaux. One of the greatest vintages of all time. And the deal is, the vintage is so deep, so rich, with so many delicious wines at such great prices, that even at this juncture, we still have kind of like new, exciting things to talk about. We're still digging through the layers of just fabulous wine strata as we go through the 2009 Bordeaux. Take, for example, Le Gravier. This is a wine that really didn't has, it really hasn't gotten a lot of run in the past. It's produced by Denis Barrault, who also runs uh, Chateau L'Insolence, who was kind of one of the first, you know, garagiste guys out there, you know, making, you know, small lots of wine, very deeply flavored from, from small, smaller parcels in San Emilio. And this is a separate estate that he runs. It's four and a half hectares, which, like 11 acres, which isn't really big by Bordeaux standards. Teeny, teeny, tiny. 100% Merlot, low yields, bling treatment, and what that does is it kind of, in the context of 09, you really see what the vintage is about with this wine. It is another of those just flamboyantly fruited, um, deep, generous, uh, cocoa-y, you know, little, little chocolate, little baker's chocolate creeping in there, um, uh, bling wood, but all in a way that's not ostentatious. What we're finding with these wines is they're kind of like settling in, is there is more focus than you might think with the vintage, because based on the whole, oh, warm year, da 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 well, we're, we're starting to see some of the wines shut down a little bit, and we're actually seeing their true colors. The fact that these are immensely structured wines, and Le Gravier is no exception. While still drinkable now, we think this wine uh, will evolve for God, 10, 12, 15 years. No problem. And here's the deal. I mean, I mean, you know, Bob Parker threw like 93 points at this wine, which is a pretty serious score. And, and it flew under the radar because this is a wine that at first he, 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 the barrel samples he rated really low, like somewhere like high 80s or something like that. So what happens, this wine kind of got into the market and people were like, Le Gravier, what's that? What, what are, what are... So what we have is a situation where there is 93 point, $28, 100% garage style Merlot from a fabulous vintage and it's available. Do you know any other wine you know, that fits those parameters? I don't think so. And Denis Barreau, like I said, just knocked it out of the park with this bottling. Don't, you know, 11, 12, you know, when, when's the next great Bordeaux vintage? Well, we haven't had the next great Bordeaux vintage yet. We won't see it for three years, four years. Do yourself a favor, stock up on the 09s. The prices are hot, the wines are brilliant. I'm done, I'm out, I got nothing.